Hi guys, so today we're going to be looking at this Power Packs Atom 60. It's a um, best way to describe it. It's a it's a, a a rather large power bank, which is capable of charging uh, your typical drone batteries. Um, you know your your Spark, your Mavic Air, your Mavic Pro, your Phantom Four, um, Inspire batteries, um, plus you know a host of uh, USB devices. So this is it here. Comes in uh, uh, this protective carry case with a rubberized handle on the top. So um, yeah, let's take a, a quick look and uh, see what you think. So we've got the, uh, the double zippers. And then inside we've got uh, the protective foam cutouts for the, for the, the, the power bank itself. Um, in the lid here, uh, I don't know if you can see, we've got um, some, uh, what have we got there? We've got a USB-C cable. Um, it's actually, it's got three different um, connectors on there. So we've got standard USB, and then we've got micro USB, USB-C, and a lightning connector. So you can use that one to charge pretty much any of those devices, you know, USB seeing being the, the, the latest version of, uh, of the USB for Android. We've also got lightning and the, and the micro. So we've got that, that cable in there. We've also got um, a cigarette uh, charger. So you can actually recharge the, the power packs atom using your in-car uh, cigarette lighter. So that cable's in there as well. We've got uh, UK mains charging lead, which plugs into the charging unit so that one slips into there and then that one obviously plugs into the front of the uh, uh, the atom it's got the instruction manual I'll refer back to that in a minute because there's a lot of features on this thing that you um, that you probably wouldn't expect so there's the charging brick and then the, the unit itself and this thing is tiny considering the amount of power that it's got in there um, it weighs two kilos, uh, as you can see, it's very compact. Um, you've got uh, an LED indicator on the front, which will tell you how much charge is left uh, or how much charge is, is in there if you're recharging. Um, you've got four USB ports on the front. Those are all five volt, 3.1 amps. So again, it's a nice fast charge for your USB devices. That's on that side. Got the power button to turn them on and off. We've got the, the recharging port there. So for example, if you're gonna recharge that with the cigarette charger from your car, you plug that into there, that into your cigarette lighter, and this is gonna recharge on the move from your vehicle. Um, and then obviously you've got your UK mains power charger there as well. So same thing, plug it in there, stick it in the mains, That'll take about four hours to fully recharge from flat. Let's say 60,000 milliamps, which is a huge amount to have in a, in a power bank. Um, that's gonna recharge a lot of stuff, a lot of drone batteries, a lot of iPhones, a lot of tablets, a lot of smart controllers or remote controllers for the, uh, for the DJI range using the USB ports. Uh, and the neat thing is we turn it over We've got a torch on the top. So you've got your little button there, push that in. On comes the torch. Push it in again, off goes the torch. And you'll see we've got a universal AC um, output. So this thing will charge um, your batteries using your standard battery charger. Uh, it's got a, a continuous uh, 150 watt output with a peak power of, uh, of 200 watts. Um, it'll do uh, 110 voltage and it'll do our, our UK 220, 240 voltage. And I'm just looking at the specs on here just to see what we've got. Yeah, so 150 continuous, 200 peak. It's also, which is really interested, uh, a pure sine wave output. So it's nice and clean um, power. You know, you're not going to get any spikes. So that's, uh, that's really cool. And you've also got another 12 volt socket there. So that can obviously 
recharge things that are normally powered by a, a cigarette lighter. So it's, it's got all the connections you need. Um, let's say this was, for example, a, a, a DJI charger. All you do, pop that in there. It's telling us we've got 59% uh, battery power left in this thing. Um, I think it's two quick presses of that one turns on the AC power and one press turns on the USB power. If you do two quick presses, um, it also gives power to the USB as well. So if you want to charge something via the mains lead and via the USB, two quick presses and away you go. Um, the size of this thing is incredible. The, the weight of that is incredible. It's something that you can stick in your backpack and carry with you quite easily. It doesn't weigh uh, a massive amount. It's got a cooling fan built into there as well. So if it does... Um, get hot or if, you, if you're in the middle of summer or you're on holiday it's got a cooling fan in there to keep it cool so I'm just going to get the um, the instructions and just have a, a quick look at some of the things that, um, that this has got as I've said it's um, 60,000 milliamps so let's say I don't know a drone battery let's say it's a, it's a thousand milliamps for example you could charge 60 of them you know um, before it goes flat um, here we go, approximate weight, 2 to 2.1 kilograms. Uh, it's got uh, a charging time of 4 to 5 hours from flat. It's got 4 USB ports, as I've said, 3.1 amp. You've got your DC power, which is uh, 9 volts to 16.6 volts uh, with a 10 amp max. Um, we've got the AC power, which is uh, 110 or 220, uh, 50 hertz or 60 hertz, pure sine wave output. Uh, we've got 150 watt continuous power output. We've got 200 watt peak power output. We've got the, uh, the digital display on the front. Working temperature minus 20 to plus 60. Um, yeah, it's just, a, it's just a phenomenal piece of kit for the size of it. I mean, I've got one of these at home and it weighs probably six or seven times the weight of this and is probably four times the size. So how they've put this much power into something so small, I do not know. Um, but that is going to be one for, for the guys that want to go out, haven't got as many batteries as they would like. Um, but want to just fly for, for long periods, you know, because you know, you can just recharge your batteries on the go using um, using off-grid mains power, which is basically what this is, just off-grid mains power. Um, really good bit of kit. We've got these in stock at the minute on the website over at uh, hobbymounts.co.uk. Um, if you've got any questions, give me a shout. Um, there's some, I don't know if that'll focus on there, but you've got some, you know, basic spec. Um, you see there that we've got uh, solar generator system so basically what you can do with this is you can buy the optional extra solar panels um, which plug into the device itself so even if you've uh, this is ran flat and you need to recharge it you can um, plug in the solar panels and it will recharge from the sun's rays uh, if you've also got the solar panels you can also power devices directly from it or recharge uh, devices directly from it without the need for the power pack at all. Um, they'll be coming soon and we'll get them on the website as soon as they're available. But at the minute this is available and on the website, retails at 179.99. Um, yeah, any questions, um, just give me a shout in the, um, in the comments section.